us is, is giving us um, some direction as to what is happening. And I mean, his predictions are coming crystal clear and he has the science to back it up, um, unlike NASA or anybody else. So I am going uh, to uh, bring up Partha right now. And uh, here we are. Good morning, Partha from Spain. Good morning, Charles uh, from, uh, from Partha from India. How are you doing, Charles? We're doing wonderful. We are absolutely doing wonderful. Thank you. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, there's a lot of things happening around the world. And yes. quite frankly, you're the only person that can provide uh, any clarity um, to us. And well, you know, I, don't, I say us, it's the royal us, it's the royal, royal me. Um, because we were just talking, um, you know, those of us who um, are learning new things, and are experiencing uh, new um, new departments in your life. You know, when you start in in any kind of job, you make your mistakes, and um, the less management you have, the more mistakes you're going to have. If you have a good training program, if you have a good mentor, if you have a good management team, then your mistakes are really going to be limited. Uh, such as the, the military, you know, that structure. You, yes. You, you don't. You don't have. You, you don't have the ability to make a choice. You follow orders. If you don't follow orders, that's when you make mistakes. Um, the people that the people that are above you are responsible for their orders, and they they have to think a little hard about what's happening. Um, so that being said, Partha and I in in our lives, you know, we don't have mentors in what we're what we're what we're learning. We don't have. We we are blazing ter new territories in our own lives. And, um, and so when we find a guru, which is somebody that we can trust to teach us something, will you embrace that person? If that person is kind enough to teach you, well, you know, you have, you have magic happen. And that's what Partha is doing to uh, all of us in, um, in here in the Breadcrumbs Project. Uh, so Partha, um, I turn it over to you. Yes, Charles. So, uh... I apologize uh, upfront that I will not be able to do a very long session, uh, unlike the last time. So uh, it's because it's a weekday, I have some office work also. So I apologize for that, but I will try my best to cover as much ground as possible in the next 40 minutes. Thank you so much. And that's both of us. Both of us have to go to work in an hour. So um, these live streams uh, in the morning will only be 30 to 40 minutes long. And, um, and thank you for the, for the time that we had before, but we have more structure now. All right, go, Partha. Yes, uh, Charles. So let me share my screen. And while you're sharing your screen, um, I'm gonna tell everybody, this is going to be a short um, live session so that uh, uh, YouTube can, can process it, spool it, and represent it hopefully within an hour of, of our finishing. And so everybody that, that can't be here live now will, will, be, will be able to experience uh, um, what Partha has to share, any updates that we have, and as we go along. So hello, Michelle. Hello, Realist. Hello, Nicola. Uh, yes, hello, dear ones. And uh, hello, everybody that is in the stream. Um, again, uh, hello, Kunwar. Um, this, will, will, this will be short. It'll be a half hour uh, to 40 minutes long. Uh, actually, it's going to be a half hour for y'all. It's, it's going to be 40 minutes long for Partha and I, and then we have to sign off and uh, pay bills. So um, <laughs> Partha has the screen up. Everything is good, Partha. So um, all yes. right, Earth's magnetic field. Yes, all right, go. Yes, to start with a bit of science. So uh, <laughs> we all know that uh, we have heard this news that Earth's magnetic field is weakening. Now, what does it imply for us? So we all know that Earth's magnetic field provides vital protection. A chance alignment of planets during the passing gust of solar wind has allowed scientists to compare the protective effects of Earth's magnetic field. And uh, this is slightly older news. So. 
So the Earth's magnetic field serves to deflect most of the solar wind charged particles. So as we know that we are living in an electrical universe, so a lot of charged particles out there, outside of Earth, are ready to come. Now, when we say that, uh, so let me open up that uh, news. Okay, so let me open up that news. I think by mistake I had closed it. Magnetic field earth weakening. So this is, anyway, it is so mysterious. Obviously, when 19 hours back, this news is there causing satellites and spacecraft to malfunction. So earth's magnetic field. And the other day I had uh, shown on my uh, YouTube channel as well as in, uh, in our live stream with Charles. I had shown a video of Zodiac evolution. I hope you guys remember. So let me go to that. Um, so not only do we remember, it really kind of blew us away. And, um, and I hope that we can do another presentation of that again this week because it's, we, we do not know our Zodiac. Yes, yes. I can in fact open up that video itself. So let me go to that video. So while it's loading, so while it's loading, so this is, this is a very, very important news for us because uh, even those who believe or not believe in Bible, there is this mention, uh, you know, of uh, sky, you know, rolling back, stars falling and all that. So sometimes it doesn't make sense when you, when you read it in isolation, what it actually means is that a magnetic field is getting weakened. And once it gets weakened, a lot of things can easily come into the earth. So that is why, you know, you can actually see a double atmosphere. You can see, you know, different, different, you know, skies. I mean, there is, there is a complete contrast in the east or in the north, you have a different sky. And then you have a completely different sky in the south. So all this is because of weakening magnetic field. So, so you, have, you, you have the only explanation for all the anomalies that we're seeing. And you, like many of us, understand it is an electrical universe. And so if those dynamics change, many dynamics change. For every, for every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. Yes. So I will just quickly go to that particular scene where the comet enters the Earth in the video. So I hope you remember this the other day. Absolutely. How can we forget? And see, the Earth is... Uh, it looks as if it is standing still. And see, this looks like a comet. So that portion, see, it looks like a comet. And this is the biggest clue. So this, the, according to the artist, it could be matrix or it could be whatever. But according to me, it is a magnetic field. Okay. And this is the messenger which has entered. And this is where it is. See, we saw the lightning. We saw the lightning in the skies. Yes. We saw the blue and green. And we, we are hearing, I think Atlas or Swan is having the green tail. And the gates are opened. So that is what the artist was trying to show. And the energy rises. Then, of course, the capstone of Egypt and all that. And <laughs> you go in all that. And, and I mean, no, it's, it's all that to you. It, it, it is, th these are our eyes opening. And the other day I explained to you 69 and all this. So I will close this video. Let us talk a little bit about the sun. Now, the sun actually, uh, you know, is represented with horses. Why horses? Because... At, uh, because of that chariot thing. Okay. I'll explain that as well. And in many video games, 
many video games you have this horses thing you can clearly see the i think the stream is a little slow yeah so you can see this horses thing right the seven horses and in this video game the gun or gun actually is the emp coming from the sun wow yes so they have been warning us through various ways through movies through games through everything and because i am a game designer myself i i write code for games i write games i build games so that's why i am like you know a game developer i understand these things apart from an astrologer my profession is game design yeah that's what pays the bills yes so now there is another uh, video game which i would like to show just a trailer i would like to show so this game is called mutant year 0 see this mushroom cloud they are saying it yes. is nuclear war end of mankind there is a subtle warning again see he is thought i was talking about thought in most of my streams charles he is thought yes now this is where it gets interesting so the boar again now if you recall few years back uh, elon musk uh, he went to thailand he tried to rescue a soccer team yes in the thailand do you remember the name of that soccer team the name of no. the team is wild boar wow 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 now i mean it can't get crazier than that i will show wild boar elon musk water thailand because i talk with proof i don't talk here say elon musk and a thai cave rescue a tale of good intentions wild boar see yeah the wild boar after and named wild team. boar and why elon musk why his name is musk what is his role on the stage which shakespeare says musk. yes i was going to say that today too by the way yes Elon is like little bit like alien and also Elohim whatever, and Musk is the Musk deer, which I was talking about. Wow, the Celtic deer. Musk deer. Oh, the Musk deer. No, that's different. You're right. Okay, okay. This is the Musk deer. Anyway, it's same. It is similar, right? So that is what. So that is one definite reference. and this symbol is also very famous in india this wild boar is actually the rescuer of earth as per mm. the ancient mythology of the wild boar once the earth was submerged in the waters so then vishnu or god he took the, the form of wild boar and he rescued and that is also called as varaha avatar i mean i'm again i'm loading you guys with information i know that yes but see i link everything there is there you is do. there is no see he is the god who lifted the earth out of the submerged waters what did sure. elon musk do what did elon musk do elon musk went and tried to rescue using a submarine the kids football team whose name is wild boar how crazy can it get that is Yeah, when when you when you see these things, they they are they are as innocent as could be, or they they are a, they are a string of evidence. They this are is, a, a string yeah. of breadcrumbs. This is what Charles says: telegraphing, and what I say as pre-programming or forewarning. Yes, it, it is. We have to just catch those signals, understand what they are trying to say. when they say corona virus it is not corona virus it means corona of the sun it's the emp event wow dead, dead redemption it is the corona because sun has a corona yeah it sure is so simple and obvious but people don't get it and look at this so this is machines electronic items everything it is the machine 
machine. So conked out. It is finished. That is how I interpret and thought doing his thing just with a feather. And, and a feather and a feather. And now the interesting part. So that is one, one thing which is done, definitely. So he, he wants to have his ham, but of course, uh, wild boar is little upset. So this is one symbology. Mirror, why mirror? Broken mirror, because the protective magnetic field or the mirror which is above us is going to be broken or it's starting to leak. Okay. That is how I see. Yeah, leak. There's a hole. They say there's a hole in the, in the, in the magnetic in the atmosphere. Field. And see, she is stoned. And this stoned theme is there in many songs, in many cultures. Easter Island. Really? Why they are stoned? Why they are stoned? Because when the EMP event happens, people are stoned. Those who are not ready. Now, how funny, Partha, that you are predicting an EMP event, and that's how I started my my curi my curiosity was I I I'm I'm following EMP event as well, but from different sources. Again, the synchronicity is unbelievable, and the same thing is there. Those who believe Bible. I mean, see, I am uh, I'm not a Christian. No, you're not. I, I read clues everywhere. Yeah, and, that, and, that's, and that's the strength of, of you, uh, Partha, because I have little patience for revelation, and, uh, and, and you've corrected me to, you know, uh, see, you know allow actually, everything. Yeah, how, how I see is, like, John must have seen something. Definitely has seen something, but... With modern eyes, you may not be able to understand any of that. You have to go be and become the ancient eyes again, the oracle eyes. True. In, in Matrix movie, you have the oracle. I am a male oracle. That's the only difference. There's and, a few more differences. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Standing on Mount Zion, Mount Zion is actually, it means North Pole, Olympus. Mount Zion, and in Matrix movie also we have Zion, and then there are Zionist thing and all that. So you should not you should not see it from a religious perspective at all. Just see it as a code. Zion is North Pole, the axis of Earth. Okay. And okay. I let me stop. Let, let me stop you right here, because we think of Zion as 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 Jerusalem, as Israel, mm -hmm. but that's not not that's mm -hmm. not the Zion. No, that, that that's the not about Zion. because the this uh, Aurora Borealis and all these events happen because they come through the North Pole. The comet right. class and span are near the North Pole or okay. constellations which are in the northern hemisphere. And, that, and now let me uh, bring this point up that all of my megalithic stones here in in um, in this granite. Uh, uh, mountain that is Mushia. Yeah. Um, all of the megalithic stuff, all of the pre-Christian, pre-Roman, uh, Celtic or pre-Celtic, all points north. This peninsula that I'm on, the 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 at the tip of the peninsula points perfectly north, and this was, I can arguably say, one of the most holy places in the Iberian Peninsula, which was riddled with Celtic people and everything here that is sacred pre-Christian points north. The burials pre-Christian point north. Everything points north. Pre-Christian. That's when East-West started. Yes, Charles. So that's where I'm coming from. In fact, in Indian Vedic system, north means where sitting the throne throne means north by the way anagram 
so those who are like you know into anagrams n o r t h is t h r o n e north north is throne same that is why we have game of thrones that is why we have in game of thrones the last scene people didn't understand why the dragon ma was you know with her fire it, she was bursting the uh, she she was burning away that uh, throne because the throne or the north pole is weakening i mean the magnetics around it is weakening that is why they are forewarning us through different so a lot of people watch game of thrones so they would immediately pick on what i am saying even though i never watched game of thrones i watched that episode oh, wow 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 i have my foot in everything charles i do yes you do partha that's the, and that's the beauty beauty to be able to talk to you because at every level that i talk to you on you're be, you're able to not only catch it but have experienced it and, and and can talk about it and then you start talking about things that i have no clue about so yeah. yes because the, the the people who think there's a uh, i mean uh, in revelation when they say dragon and all it's not that dragon which people are imagining it is a draco constellation i have talked about it most of my videos yes you have i showed it i think in one of our last streams also so this is the draco constellation this is the one and one third of the stars falling on earth means like the north pole around the north pole the magnetic field is weakening the poles will flip and one third of the stars falling means it could be the comets or meteorites it need not be the actual stars it could be you know things streaming inside okay it is the portal which is opening and that is what is there that that all makes sense that uh, that all makes absolute um from from uh, from an electrical electrical engineering sense that everything you just said makes absolute sense that that the weakening of the magnetic field could justify a flip in 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 magnetic north so and and have seen and, independence day you remember this scene i do so this is the north pole and this is the plasma discharge and when the mother ships arrive mother ship arrives the the craft which is already there like see people talk about area 51 or lot of ancient aircrafts so when the plasma comes in what happens is many of this old time machines or ancient aircraft which have been actually turned into stones or they are useless but once the plasma discharge happens this ancient aircrafts and all those things which are they will be activated wow that and, makes sense with that makes sense with a lot of, of of a lot of the stones here in mushia are very ancient and uh i could say in in placements that they are worshiped and also if you remember in the movie the in, initially the the protagonist will smith and all they are not able to hit the the spaceship because it has a magnetic shield once the magnetic shield is down when they upload the virus so that is the corona virus by the way anyway that's a false sure so once the magnetic field goes you start hitting it so this is also again a clue and this is the same thing is there in so many movies <coughs> so wakanda shield avengers so yes. those, who have, those who are recent guys i mean those who are like born in 90s and who are fan of avengers avengers i am so if uh, charles you and me are not born in 90s so <laughs> so if you remember avengers uh, uh, infinity war in wakanda there is a magnetic shield and there is the magnetic shield goes away the aliens stream in they pour in they attack that's also a forewarning it's okay. a big thing the magnetic once the magnet is goes things start happening okay uh let me ask you real quick i've been wanting to ask you about lingam since we're talking about stones yes is there an association between do you think between lingam and and the event of course because lingam is nothing but the magnetic pole of axis of course like i know you don't like the word of course <laughs> <laughs> and, and and only because we're new to this uh okay guys this is this is a uh, uh, again 
Partha and I keep having moments. All right. And, um, whenever I started my search and you can go to one of my older videos, um, uh, in, in a comment thread, I've been looking for an Indian who understands lingam and I understand lingam can speak because of, of, of other research that I've done. And, uh, this Indian now is having a commentary thread, uh, looked at lingam as modern Indians look at lingam and Partha has just again re uh reaffirmed that he is the person i've been looking for for the last six months if not the last 10 years um because he truly understands and accepts the nature of lingam go ahead partha oh and 10 more minutes and you're on mute you're still on mute Partha, we, there you go. So lingam actually represents the North Pole again. It represents the magnetic field. It also represents the light or the charged particles. It represents the current. So the pyramids which were built in Egypt, the pyramids that are there in South America, I think in Chile or Peru, in that, that region. And there are sure. all... So all these are actually connected to the North Pole. Because North Pole is the center. It is the magnetic. That is why we, have, we see auroras, a lot of auroras there. Because that is where past particles keep streaming inside. So that is what Lingam does. Lingam actually connects everything. So Beautiful. The, yeah, it's a symbolic thing. And we know why we are seeing this. So this I think we have already seen since. I'll just mute it. So this we saw. This morning also, Charles. All of us, yes. Also, that is not space junk. That is not space junk. People are trying to fool you. Please don't believe any anybody saying that it is space junk, space debris, or anything of that sort. This is all streaming in because of the weakening. And coming to the astrology part, so Swan will be uh, going into Capella. So let me open that quickly. I have. Yes. So Comet Swan is going to. Will pass close to Capella in Auriga in the post sunset sky. That is on June 3rd. Okay. Okay. What is Capella? Capella is this goat. It's on the shoulder of Auriga. Who is Auriga? Auriga is the charioteer. He is the charioteer of the sun. I was talking about this sun, horses. Sun, he is sun god with his seven horses. Again, seven horses. Seven horses. And that is why sun is moving towards the north. So you, uh, Angel made a video, you made a video, uh, Charles, about yes. the moving sun towards the north. Why north? Why it is appearing from the north? Is because of the weak magnetic thing and also if you go a little bit into mythology so this this goat is also representing the cornucopia the horn of plenty it's also called as the food bearer so a lot of great things in store so nothing to fear so a lot of people think oh plasma emp and all that but i'm also I am not the prophet of doom. I am prophet of plenty. So I am saying it is horn of plenty. Don't worry. So all, all good souls will be rescued or all good souls will get their share. Yeah. And, and, and also all bad souls will go through their, their path as well yeah. and be, be made good. So, um, you know, uh, everybody will have their journey. Absolutely but the end result I mean, will be wonderful. Even at the time of event, even whatever is mentioned in Bible, in Hindu scriptures. Huh, so this was the page I think uh, I was talking about. Huh, so I heard a sound from heaven, like the roar of rushing waters, like a loud peal of thunder. The sound I heard was like the harpists playing their harps. And they sang a new song before the throne. Throne means north. And before the four living creatures and elders. 
Now, what are these four living creatures? I will also show that. That is again this. Actually, that is zodiac. A lot of people don't know about it. It's nothing but the zodiac. This eagle is Scorpio. Lion is Leo. This is the bull. Taurus. Yeah, this is the bull, and this is the man. And man is Aquarius. Age of Aquarius. Wow. Yes, because Aquarius pouring waters. That is it. A lot of people did don't understand that astrology. It is astrology. So yes, what's the original sign of Scorpio? Lion is the Leo, Leo sign. So these four are again linked to the pyramids of Giza. They are also they you know Sphinx. Sphinx is Leo. Yes. So everything is astrological. That is what people. It is. Understand. It is. It is. So these. Wow. Yeah. So. That is why Revelation is not understood even by those who have been reading it for ages. And I, when I read it, I immediately see because what I do is I see it from a neutral perspective. I'm not a Christian, so what will I do? I will see. Oh, this is astrology. It is so clear. Yeah. Yeah, and and that's the thing. I mean, there, there's so many references that people try to associate with the astrology uh, of of Revelations uh, of the Bible, but they just they don't have the training to do so because that has stopped. All right, guys, we have uh, four more minutes with Partha. Um, and we're going to try to do this every morning for those uh, in, in morning. We're talking about five o'clock um, Eastern and for a half hour, 45 minutes. So there can be a quick uh, uh, recording for everybody else that's following this incredibly important information. All right, wind it up. Partha, because we have to work, you and I. Yes, yes. <laughs> and see what they are saying, what they're telegraphing. The earth is standing still, claims seismologist. I mean, what the hell? What is this standing still? It is, they are telegraphing. The earth's magnetic field is weakening. Because it yeah. happens. It happens at the end of an age. It happens. Yeah. And they are also saying that the data gathered by us has shown that Anomaly dropped by strength by more than 8%. Now they are telling us. Now? Now they're telling us. You know, from 1970, it has been happening, and you're telling me now? Exactly. Because you and I both study space. We're, 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 we're nerds. We're space junkies. And you're just telling and, us now. And magnetic field is about to reverse. Telegraphing. Absolutely telegraphing. Um, and President Trump has telegraphed by saying that, you know, um, UFOs are real. Yes. So we have something to expect. That is what the Origa reference is. So I was saying that Swan is going near Origa and Atlas is going near uh, the Pleiades. And Pleiades, as I said, Atlas is father of Pleiades. So he's, yes. he's, it's a kind of a reunion kind of a thing, basically. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. Thank you so much, Partha. Um, so can we do this again tomorrow? Definitely. Definitely. Sure, and so the, the good thing is this will be recorded. Um, you can see in the, in the, um, in the recordings, uh, the web pages that, that Partha uses. So you can go back and do your own reading of this vital information. And 